can't believe it's fucking snowing in the Bahamas. Fucking bullshit. Good morning, sir. I was just wondering if this is the guy you wanted me to kill. No, I'm on my anniversary right now. I can't talk. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, uh, happy anniversary, sir. I'll see you back at headquarters. Thank you. Thank you. When you see Sheena, tell her I said loose lips sink ships. She's right next to me, goodbye. Well, glad I got that through to her. 20 years, 20 beers. I love you, Seamus Flanagan. Sheena! Get down! Shot for shot. It's fucking snowing. His eyes are drawn to my red corsage. They say he works in espionage. I feel his lips like they still linger. And a voice in my ear whispers, Pussy. Don't tell anyone I'm a government spy. Believe what I say, though. The secret plans still in my head. Now take off your clothes and get in that bed. move coming from Flanagan. That fucker's gonna get what he deserves. Now, General Poruchik Grigavich, let me introduce you to my new right-hand man, the German Shepherd. He will be planting the explosives that you so generously donated to our cause. He is madman. I should be the one to get him after what he did to me. Danke schön. You know, I was brought up in the Nazi movement. Since I was four and six and well, it's years old. I invaded the Channel 4 News at the age of 16. 
you call me madman? Would madman self-circumcise at the age of 12? Why do they call you the German Shepherd? <laughs> kind of fucking shit I like to hear! So what can me and him do? You can start by shutting the fuck up! Leonard, please, let me in. No, 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 You had your fucking chance already. I told you Flanagan's location, and it's now my time to get my fucking end of the bargain. The bombs. Do you have them? You will get them. Good. Now that that's settled, you can take care of Hermie for the weekend. I really don't think I should. And can you fucking feed him this time? So what are you wearing? Yeah, can you change that? No, I mean, you know, you, you got anything sexier? How much am I being charged for this again? Yeah, right, yeah. Uh, thanks for nothing. Clancy O'Connor. Seamus Flanagan. Nice to see you again. Yeah, yeah, I gotta talk to you about something. If it's about the bungalow in the Bahamas, my wife's dead. You ought to take a fortnight's leave. I'm concerned about your emotional well-being and how it can affect your work. I know you just got off your anniversary vacation, and yesterday your wife was brutally, brutally murdered. I think it would be best if you just took a break for now. No. Then I have no choice but to remove your license to kill and to permanently ban you from the Central Union of National Transmissions. But I've been working for cunts since I was but a wee lad. You're to go nowhere near General Grigovich and his accomplices. I already have agents dispatched on that and I don't need you blowing their cover on some vendetta. Who's blowing who? Agents. Agents. That's all you need to know right now. I'll find a way. Top of the morning, you Irish prick. Uh, we're not on an informal basis. <laughs> That's a good one, sir. How's the divorce going? Darcy, uh, Darcy took the kids and burnt the house down. Listen, listen, let's get down to business, okay? Lenny Pennypecker, the casino mogul, is building a casino on the top of Pease Bernina in the Swiss Alps. I need you to infiltrate and find out what he's doing there. What makes you so suspicious? It's a casino at the summit of a mountain. How is that not suspicious? A good point. You're going alone on this one. Flanagan's been burned. Just like your house, sir? Yes. Like my house. Anyway, you'll receive equipment from the craftsman here. He'll brief you. Watch out! Right. Here is your new gun. German-made schadenfreude and schmerz. It uses caseless ammunition so you won't be detected, and each round is an expanding bullet which will cause severe damage to your enemy's innards. Your watch, laser, explosives, detonator, all the usual refinements. Is that all? Don't hold out on me. Yes, yes, I got your liquor. O'Sullivan's Irish whiskey. Hundred proof stuff. That's the stuff. Please try and return the equipment. I never do. God damn it, Kraft! Caution tape! What the fuck did I just say? Sorry. There we go. Let's move in you go. All right, you monkey, come on. Go on, there we go. Okay, yes. Stay, beast. Whoa, whoa, get it. Ah, oh, here we go. Here's the gorilla you ordered. Gorilla? I didn't order a fucking gorilla. For the zoo? In your casino? I don't have a fucking zoo! Well, looks like I was grossly misinformed. 
you know, I have a lot to sort out right now, and it'd be great if you and your fucking gorilla costume could give me some peace and quiet. What do you mean, gorilla costume? <laughs> you must think I'm a regular Rain Man. See, I know the difference between a gorilla costume and a real fucking gorilla! Okay, here we go. Come on. Let's get out of here. Let's get out. Out we go, beast. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah, get out of here. Get the fuck out of here! Paging the German Shepherd. The German Shepherd paging the German Shepherd. Ah, oh, there you are, yes. <clears throat> He's a suspicious little fucker. I want you to keep an eye on him. And when the time is right, go PETA on the monkey. Mr. Pennypecker, you want me to pee on the monkey? No. I don't want you to pee on the monkey. I want you to go PETA on the monkey. You want me to put penis on monkey. Jesus Christ. You know what? Fuck it. Just kill him. to check out the water pressure in this shower. It's serene. Hello, monkey. Oh, no, you shall taste the German Shepherd's dick! happened in the shop. <gasps> Let's split that pie, sir. I don't follow. Let's split up. Grigovich is mine. You take down Pennypecker. Will do, sir. Please, call me Seamus. Grigovich. I've been looking for you for quite some time. How's the wife? She's dead. Consider us even. You managed to kill me. Not completely, but in most sadistic of ways. So I took your wife with you. And now you've had to suffer the same agony I've had to suffer all these long years. So, Mr. Secret Agent, are you going to hit the cripple? Not exactly on our feet today. <laughs> Fuck you, you killed my wife. Bet you think you're real fucking cool, right? 
Oh, fuck. This so it was you who was behind all of this? Why? You don't understand. I'm trying to build the greatest casino on the face of the earth. And in order to do that, I must destroy all the others. Using the bombs supplied by Grigovich, I will blow up every major casino in the Western Hemisphere. But I'm not gonna put one in the Bahamas. Actually, I put two there. You son of a bitch. Fucking Jesus shit. Christ. With every casino gone, Everybody will be forced to come to mine! <laughs> that doesn't make any fucking sense whatsoever. Last time I checked, I didn't ask for your fucking opinion. There would be no one left to go to your casino because everyone would be dead. Well, fuck it. I'm gonna do it anyway. Why would you do that? Because I'm a fucking badass, that's why. I'm like Lawrence of the fucking Arabia. Not really. More like a wanker. <laughs> Boy, I sure am thirsty. I could use a beverage. Kraft really came through with O'Sullivan's Irish whiskey. The hundred proof stuff. A hundred proof stuff. Let me try that. Brewed in Ireland, this liquor has a 50% alcohol content. Oh, boy, that's not smooth and tasty. You bet. That's just fucking great. Oh, hey, Stumpy. It's about time. What the hell were you doing? Andy came to me. I had to climb all the way upstairs. Yeah, that was a pretty big design flaw on my part. You don't know what it's like to be a failure. What it's like to want something so badly all these years. I am building a monopoly here. Like the fucking board game. Until you came and destroyed it. <laughs> I was born with nothing. And look what I've been able to do with nothing. You look at it. <laughs> But I guess all good things must come to an end, right? <coughs> Feed her me for me. Seamus Flanagan was an alcoholic, a misogynist, and a foul-mouthed bastard. Above all, he was a good man. The guy had flaws, but he always did the right thing in the end. He would see things through, and I'm proud to say I was his partner. Things just won't be the same around cunt headquarters without him. But I know he's out there somewhere, watching over us.
How was it? Pretty believable. I even shed a tear or two. So, uh, are you sure you're ready to retire? Say hello to Deborah for me. Stonehouse! Stonehouse, are you there? I've got a new mission for you. And I promise, this one's gonna be bigger and better. <laughs>